pre gang first of all subscribe to the channel second of all hashtag pre gang in the comments i need y'all to check in check in check in check in stop playing with me okay so you guys want to come in and talk to some of my fairly new braiders okay I need for you to bring it in because we're going to have to talk about you charging what you deserve. Now, first of all, if you do not know, I have two videos on this channel. I'm going to let something hopefully slide up here, right? Somewhere up in here. Blah, blah, blah. Slide it up in here or I'm going to leave the links in the description below so that you can go look at the two videos where I give you um, price suggestions. However, I want to talk to you just about being comfortable with charging what you are worth, okay? But there's a few things we need to take into consideration when we get into that, okay? So, first of all, you need to think about the services that you are providing, okay? Doing braiding hair is a side hustle. I get it. It's a side hustle. It's a, it's a way of living at this point. There are a lot of people who make their money strictly off of braiding, okay? But you need to think about the services that you do, the um, products that you buy, the time that it took you to learn how to do certain tasks. I said styles, certain styles, perfecting the styles, okay? And the time it takes us to do some of these hairstyles, some of these hairstyles take up to eight hours. Baby, that's a whole, that's a whole shift somewhere, okay? So think about the services that you're doing because you need to be charging based on what you actually do, okay? Also think about the expenses. For those of us who braid um, mobile braiders, you gotta think about gas. If you braid at a booth or at a salon, you gotta think about booth rent, okay? You have to think about uh, products. You have to think about the trainings that you might need to get for some people who do sister locks, for some people who do dreads. You have to learn these things. You have to take that into consideration when you start charging what you are worth as well. Not to mention, again, I'm saying the hours that it takes for some of us to do some of these hairstyles, okay? So I need you to think of it in this way. You need to think of how many people do you need to serve to make the money that you want to make and you believe you deserve okay if for you guys who do not know I have my braiding video where it talks about how I made $500 in one weekend um, and I, I was able to put that on repeat okay um, but say if your goal was $500 okay you need to figure out how many people do I need to serve to make $500 without uh -uh, without getting burnt out okay because sometimes it sounds good oh I'm gonna make this extra 500 but if you're doing $75 hairstyles, how long that's going to take you? And how many people do you got to come in contact with to get that done, right? And you guys know I'm a fan of big ticket items, meaning charging or doing the most, um, the, the most costly hairstyle so that you can kind of fall back on how many clients you need to take. So if I'm saying I need to make $500 this weekend and I'm going to charge $125 for box braids, that means I only need four clients, right? Four clients is not going to burn you out, right? But if you have to take 10 clients to make that say $500, it will, my sister, okay? My great boss sister, it will burn you the hell out, okay? So I need you to think about your income goal that you want to make without burning yourself out and being able to charge what you are worth, okay? I'm tired of hearing people doing $25 specials, $50 specials. No, ma'am. Them, them, them $50 specials will $50 special you to the ground. Okay, now y'all know I'm also a fan if you're new. Okay, if you're new to me, okay, I'm, I'm new to this, not true to this. Make sure you're going to braidhairforcash.com, pretty much where I tell you how to set up your braid business to get that money, get that moolah, get that shmoney. Do people still say that? Am I late? Am I, am I telling y'all how old I am? Anyway, <laughs> you need to be constantly thinking about how many people you need to book in order to make the goal amount. And think of it as in how many people I need to serve. Because I feel like a lot of us have an issue with charging what we are worth. That's a whole nother conversation. That's not even for this channel. But it's linked to the things that we have been through while we're not willing to charge what we're worth or what we believe the bag needs to be. Okay? So, I'm just pretty much having this is a heart to heart. It's a pep talk. Stop being out here doing all these damn specials. Because you will water down your brand constantly doing special now there's nothing wrong with doing special to get people in your chair okay I i'm with it y'all know i'm quick to say hey run a special do a discount i'm with it all okay but your equation needs to be as follows what is your income goal how many people do i need to serve in order to get to that income goal 
without burning out, okay? And that might mean, sister, braid sister, natural hairstyle sister, that you might need to rearrange your braiding prices to match up to make sense for your income goals. So if you say, hey, I need to make an extra thousand this month or I need to make a thousand in two weeks, you need to figure out how many people you gotta serve in these two weeks without burning out to make that thousand dollars, okay? And please, like I said, do not let people discount you to death. Do not think you have to be out here doing discounts, doing stuff for the low, for the cheap. You do not have to. Now, you need to be quality. Your, your timeline needs to make sense. But I'm not a fan of you nickel and diming yourself to death just to have somebody in your chair. I am not with that. So you guys thought this was helpful again. I was just coming to just have a chat one-on-one. Mano y mano. Me and you, boo. Me and you, we here. Don't let these people nickel and dime you out of death when you braiding out here, girl. If it took you two hours to do the hair, girl, no, ma'am. You're not charging no cheap cheap, okay? Now, pay attention to what the industry is charging, but we ain't with the cheap cheap. So, you guys out this stuff, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Bye, y'all.